So the magic happens from the pike to the straight position, all right? And when you're watching it in real time with the front twisters, you can't necessarily see it that well until you get that trained eye. I can see the separation. Can you see it? The separation from, from the pike to the twist. You're supposed to see what's happening with the body because we have to bend at the hips. If we don't bend at the hips, the only thing you can do is push through your toes. So you can do a front dive half twist. You can do a front dive full twist. You might be able to do somersault okay with that in the full, but without bending your hips, you are going to reduce the amount of rotation that you can get to. And of course, we want to continue to get rotation, so we have to have that bend of the hips. All right, some people can do a front full without bending the hips. Very, very difficult to get out, come off the board without bending your hips forwards, okay? It's kind of like most people coming off the boards for a back or reverse pike. 40, at least 40% of them are going to break on their way up. It is just common because of the um, force that's there coming off the board. It's so hard to keep those knees straight. But if you don't have good foot action on the board, you're going to have to have great twisting action, okay? Because you're going to have to get twisting fast and well because you're going to have less time. So we need to maximize the amount of time we spend on the board because force exerted over a longer period of time equals greater force. So we have to improve our board work and our footwork. So those foot slaps are important because the foot slap is what's get it, getting you from the pike position to the straight position. So remember, this is the long axis. This is the axis that we twist around, all right? We have to pike on the transverse axis right here. So we have to bend on that one because if we don't, we won't get what started first. The somersault, our rotation, okay? We gotta get that started. So we have to utilize that bend. And that bend is also going to get us our cat twist. Because what we're going to do, our arms are above our center of gravity, our feet are below our center of gravity. We're going to move them away from each other. So we are got to get to this axis. But remember, we're starting on transverse axis. So we have to lift and get as tall and long as we can on this axis as quickly as possible. And this is what most divers do. They break that in and do this. They're not, worried. they're not focused on driving their heels and lifting their arms back up because they're going forwards on a front twister. Yes, our arms come back up over our head. That action is going to create more reaction down here, and that's going to enhance or speed up our somersault. Okay? So that action is helping us. Number one, faster, better somersault. Number two, we can get to that long axis faster and better. Now, one of the biggest things that we have to focus on is keeping your chin up, all right? So please remember, we have the neck braces, the foam neck braces. If we're having issues coming off the board, dropping your head, it ruins everything, okay? Because you're not going to ride the board, and we're not going to be able to pike up. And that's what we're going to be trying to talk about today, is that action from what you are seeing from the pike to the lift. That is that cat fist action, all right? So... Today we're going to do um, swivel seat jumps. You do these on trampoline. You can do sets and sets and sets of them on trampoline and that's fine. But so you land on your seat and you go from your seat to a stand. At the standing point you do a half twist and you land back on your seat. Do you remember that from camp? Swivel seats. Okay. The swivel seat. A fun somersault full twist. You pike and get upside down and guess what you do? A swivel seat. So all your front full is and your front half. You pike upside down, snap swivel seat. So you do a swivel seat upside down, and you have front twisters. So learn the swivel seat on the trampoline, but we don't have the swivel seat. So today, we will do um, some of those swivel seat jumps from poolside. We'll do swivel seat jumps from the one meter, and then we are going to do somersaults. We are going to do them pike, front somersaults, pike kick, pike straight, pike snap, whichever one of those words you like to put together. And we're going to do them standing, double bouncing, regular approach, and triple bouncing. And you're going to have to try to control the amount of somersault that you're getting. But all the somersault is going to be from a little bit of the hips and then mostly from the feet. Okay? And the more... Now, here's the key. A lot of you pike down really hard on all your front twisters. You pike down 90 degrees on these. And if you pike down 90 degrees and then snap, then you can get a lot of somersault. And right now, today, we're focused on twisting action, so we're landing mostly on our feet, trying to get uh, Mackenzie up to her front double twister to her head. She's kind of there, but we have, we have to get some things consistent back. 
and we got to get her knowing where she's at and controlling the somersault, okay? Not going one really short and one flat on her gut, okay? We want to get some consistency that's in there. But today, a lot of our focus is going to be on this action right here. The pike to the straight. The pike to the straight, okay? That is a cat twisting action. Our arms are going to help tell us which direction we're going to go, but we're going to focus on keeping our arms up. So let's stand up. Yay! Videos, videos, videos are great. Okay, chin up, chest up, arms on top. Front twisters, front takeoff. That means vertical chest, whole foot balance. We don't have um, any of the shoulders necessarily forward. Shoulders are going to be forward on your gainers just a little bit. All right? On your fronts, they're straight up vertical. So what we have to focus on is piking up. I'll say it during our workout the whole time. Pike up, pike up. You need to pike up. Start piking up because everybody wants to pike down. We don't bend over. When we say pike up, think about a higher point. I'm going to put that stream of water up there for you today. So right now I'm thinking about something that's above me because aren't you on a board that's going to catapult you? So aren't you going to be going up? Yes. So when that point is, you're going to be leaving the board. She wants to pike up here above her chest level. She's going to be piking up here. Now, as she pikes up there, the board's coming through. Oh, boom, 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 boom. That's going through, so bam! There's the foot slap, and now we are on the twist. But if we pike down, now we get in a position very difficult to drive through on that, so we're going to have less somersault. So we need to pike up so our center of gravity stays higher. Okay, chin up, chest up. Now we're going to pike up. Okay, notice how my hands are narrow. We're not going to be splitting out here. That's just when we start learning how to twist in the beginning and get our folds and stuff. Because if you're just doing a full twist, you can square in, square out. That's fine. We're focusing on twisting. So we're going to kind of separate down the middle and switch the arms. So separate, switch, just like we do on their back. So once we're in that pike position, I twist to the left. So I'm going to drive my left leg, and my left arm is going to separate. 